If you're looking for the best soundbar for music, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Samsung HWQ950A. The Samsung HWQ950 has the best soundbar for music that we've tested. This 11.14 setup comes with lots of sound customization features to help you adjust its sound to your liking. Like most premium setups, it has bass and treble adjustments, but you can also find a graphic EQ in its app to customize its sound throughout the range. Right out of the box, it has a neutral sound profile that can clearly reproduce vocals and lead instruments, and its dedicated subwoofer reproduces a pretty accurate and punchy bass. Like most premium setups on the market, it has a room correction feature, which Samsung calls Auto EQ, so it automatically optimizes its audio reproduction based on the acoustic characteristics of your room. Also, it gets really loud, meaning you can fill up large rooms and crowded parties with your music. Overall, it's a very versatile soundbar, but its performance isn't perfect. Although this soundbar is the next generation of the Samsung HWQ950T, it doesn't reproduce quite as much low bass out of the box as its predecessor, meaning you may notice a bit less rumble and bass heavy tracks. Moving on to the next at number two with Bose, Mart Soundbar 900. The best soundbar for music with a 5.1 setup that we've tested is the Bose, Mart Soundbar 900 with speakers plus bass module. Compared to other premium bars on the market, this soundbar has an amazing stereo soundstage, so you feel immersed in your favorite songs from all angles. The soundstage is very wide, and sound reaches out to the walls of your room. Like other premium bars, there's a room correction feature available to optimize audio reproduction based on your room's acoustics, which Bose calls Adapt TiQ. With this feature on, it has a neutral, balanced sound profile that reproduces clear and detailed vocals and lead instruments in your favorite songs. There's a touch of extra punch in the bass range, so you feel the energy in bass-heavy genres like EDM and, and hip-hop. Unfortunately, this soundbar doesn't offer as many sound enhancement features as other bars like the Samsung HWQ950A. There are bass and treble adjustments, but sadly, you won't find an EQ to control the rest of the range. There's no DTS support either, which is disappointing for listeners who want to watch concerts on DVD and Blu-rays. The number three position is held by Sonos Arc with SUB Plus One SL speakers. If you want a 5.1 soundbar with DTS support, consider the Sonos Arc with Sub Plus One SL speakers instead. While this soundbar isn't Bluetooth compatible and doesn't have as impressive of a soundstage as the Bose, Mart Soundbar 900 with speakers plus bass module, it supports DTS, meaning you can listen to concerts and other media from your favorite musicians on Blu-ray. Like other premium bars, it has a room correction feature Sonos calls a true play, and it's only available with iOS devices. Its default sound is a bit bright, but you can use its bass and treble adjustments to get a more neutral sound that clearly reproduces the punch in the bass range and the detail of vocals and instruments in the mids. You won't find many sound enhancement features besides its bass and treble adjustments, though it also only supports Wi-Fi, so you can't cast music from your phone to the bar via Bluetooth. If you want a Bluetooth-compatible bar with a better stereo soundstage, check out the Bose. However, if you want a bar with DTS support, consider the Sonos instead. Next at number four, we have Clip Cinema 1200. If you love listening to bass-heavy genres like hip-hop and EDM, the best soundbar for music that we've tested is the Clip Cinema 1200. This premium 5.14 comes with a huge subwoofer that packs a punch in the bass range. Right out of the box, this soundbar has a bass-heavy sound profile that adds a lot of thump and punch to your music. That said, the soundbar can still reproduce vocals and lead instruments with clarity and detail thanks to its balanced mids. There are a lot of customization features to help you change its sound based on your preferences, too, including a graphic EQ as well as bass and treble adjustments. The night mode feature is quite helpful because it reduces the sub's dynamic range, so you can lessen the boom in the bass when you don't want to wake anyone at night. Unfortunately, without a room correction feature, the bar sounds a bit different depending on the room you're listening in. It doesn't have the most premium build, either, 
and its massive subwoofer doesn't fit easily into your living room. However, if you love to feel the bass in your favorite songs, it's still a solid pick. The number 5 position is held by Sonos Beam Gen 2. The best small soundbar for music that we've tested is the Sonos Beam Gen 2. This well-built 5.0 setup has a premium design, and its small size makes it easy to add to your existing setup. Despite its compact design, it has a wide soundstage thanks to its side, firing speakers that beam sound throughout your room, immersing you in your favorite music. Using a compatible iOS device, you can use the room correction feature to optimize audio based on your room's unique acoustics. Its default sound profile is pretty neutral, making it suitable for most music genres, though there's some extra punch in the bass range that can slightly muddy vocals and lead instruments. You can always use its bass and treble adjustments to customize its sound, though, unfortunately, the small bar struggles to reproduce the low thump and rumble in the bass found with bass-heavy music like EDM and hip-hop. However, you can always purchase a compatible subwoofer to add to your setup if you prefer. The number 6 position is dominated by Vizio V-Series V51H6. The Vizio V-Series V51H6 is the best budget soundbar for music we've tested. This wallet-friendly 5.1 setup offers a very versatile performance. It doesn't come with as many features as the more premium setups on our list, but it does offer bass and treble adjustments to help you customize its sound to your liking. That said, you may not need to customize its sound at all. This setup has a neutral default sound profile that reproduces clear and detailed vocals and lead instruments, making it suitable for many different kinds of music. Thanks to its dedicated subwoofer, it can accurately reproduce the deep thump and rumble in bass-heavy genres like EDM, too. Unfortunately, without a room correction feature available, the bar's sound varies depending on the room you're listening in. Also, it doesn't support Dolby Atmos content, so you can't use it for Dolby Atmos music. However, it still offers a versatile performance that can please many different listeners. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Samsung HWA 550. If you're looking for a budget-friendly soundbar that offers more sound customization features, consider the Samsung HWA 550. The Samsung HWA 550 is an entry-level 2.1 soundbar released in 2021. It's the next generation of the Samsung HWT 550, and it offers more EQ presets for sound customization. Unlike the 2.1 Samsung HWA 450, also released in 2021, it comes with a full HDMI in port, so you can use it as a hub between different devices. However, it doesn't come with Acoustic Beam or Q-Symphony advertised to help create a more immersive sound. Out of the box, this well-built soundbar has a pretty neutral sound profile suitable for listening to most music genres since vocals and lead instruments are clear and detailed. However, it doesn't reproduce as extended of a low bass, so you don't feel as much rumble in EDM and hip-hop tracks. If you want a 5.1 setup with better center and surrounds performances and a more extended low bass, check out the Vizio. However, if you want a 2.1 setup with more sound customization features, consider the Samsung instead. The number 8 position is held by Samsung HWQ900A. The Samsung HWQ900A is a 7.12 setup released in 2021. It's the upgraded version of the Samsung HWQ900T. And unlike its predecessor, it supports Apple AirPlay 2 and comes with an auto EQ room correction feature. It offers some sound enhancement features that work with compatible Samsung TV to create a more immersive sound, like Q Symphony and Space Fit Sound Plus. Though we don't currently test for these, it offers a pretty neutral sound profile, so it's suitable for listening to different types of audio content. It also gets pretty loud, and it comes with lots of sound customization features. The Samsung HWQ900 a soundbar is impressive for mixed usage. With its standard preset, this soundbar has a pretty neutral sound profile suitable for listening to most types of audio content. Though it lacks some low bass, there are many sound customization features available to help you get a more balanced sound. That said, its surround performance isn't as impressive as a setup with discrete satellites, and its Atmos performance isn't very immersive sounding. Next at number 9 we have the Samsung HWQ800 is a versatile soundbar from Samsung's 2021 lineup. This 3.1 new setup is well built and comes with a dedicated subwoofer which helps produce a thumpy low bass. It has a neutral sound profile, 
making it suitable for a variety of audio content. It also comes with Q-Symphony technology, which synchronizes the audio production to the speakers on your Samsung TV, as well as Samsung's Acoustic Beam technology, which helps create a more immersive listening experience. Though we don't currently test these features, it has Amazon Alexa built in, so you can control the bar with your voice. Although it supports Dolby Atmos content, it doesn't deliver a very immersive listening experience. Thankfully, it comes with quite a few sound enhancement features and supports a wide array of audio formats. It has a neutral, balanced sound profile, making it suitable for a variety of audio content. It can produce a thumpy, punchy low bass, which is nice for action-packed movie scenes and bass-heavy music genres. Its soundstage is a bit wider than the bar itself, and it's quite focused, so sound objects like voices and footsteps feel like they're coming from an accurate location rather than a general area. It also comes with many sound enhancement features, like dialogue enhancement and a graphic EQ and presets for customizing its sound profile. Unfortunately, it doesn't provide an immersive surround sound experience and it lacks dedicated satellite speakers. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by the LG S Palavin Array is a premium 7.1-4 setup that's the next generation of the LG S Nelevan RG. It comes with an AI room calibration feature that can automatically optimize audio reproduction based on the unique acoustic characteristics of your listening space, as well as some EQ presets to help you customize its sound. With the room correction feature turned on, it has a slightly boomy but otherwise neutral sound profile that's still suitable for listening to lots of different types of audio content. It also supports Dolby Atmos content. The LG S Palavin RA soundbar is great for mixed usage. With its room correction feature turned on, it has a slightly boomy but otherwise neutral sound profile suitable for lots of different types of audio content. Its discrete center channel helps to accurately localize dialogue to a pinpoint location for a more immersive sound. It also supports surround content as well as Dolby Atmos content, which is handy for movie fans. While it has lots of sound enhancement features, unfortunately, it lacks a graphic EQ. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.